All right, so Beast Slayers, uh, Beastie Boys. Clearly, right? So random crisis. You can make the game a lot easier by setting the crisis. Like if you do Nobles at War, you know you need to make like four throwers instead of two or three. Uh, I guess the Holy War the same. Like you take more fearsome with green skin invasion. Although I always take all fearsome. I don't know. Maybe it doesn't matter. Nobles at War is just like free money. E ally unexplored. Boom. Random seed. Let's look at our broskies. Oh god. <laughs> Cocky and dexterous. Well, that's not that bad because he actually max rolled melee defense. He's still usable. This guy is definitely a banner with fearless. Like 100% banner, right? Yeah, we lost a guy. There's a no loss run. We lost a guy. This fame hunter doesn't even matter, he has 45 resolve. Okay, so like these are clear builds then, right? They're quite quite clear builds. We just always take this four in HP, correct? Colossus. Colossus. This injury is quite bad. Yeah, this injury is quite bad. What is his actual base stats? Very low rolled. I think we do take fast in this guy. Um, these are both fine. I don't think it matters. You're fast, buddy. Especially with his injury, he's gonna need it. Forty-nine, forty-five. Pick this. I think we're kind of done with no loss. I think I think it gets boring before we win. I think that's the problem with no loss. Like I, without some sort of like attempt to push the tempo, the game becomes kind of stale. I actually don't. I like monks early. I, we can't obviously can't do this quest. It doesn't matter what it is. We would like to go to that go south. Um, what quest do we have available? So we have, we have this, and we have, we don't have enough bodies to take the Clutter of Indebted. Yeah, I, I think, I think that's not something we continue to do. So we need hats. Ooh. Okay, six guys should be enough. Do I care about that guy? He's actually not bad. Is actually a viable banner or tank. All right, let's take this quest. We need some equipment. What do we need? There's a spear. There's a pitchfork. There's a shield. It's probably what we have to work with, guys. Probably one more warm body. Okay. What do we have here? We have. We can't worry about these guys and if any of them are good. This story is actually kind of chatty. Let's give him the spear. Frontliners need the hats, as many as I can muster. This guy is not going to hit anything. Let's give you a pitchfork then. You can get this weapon for now, you can get this weapon. You what do I what do I do with Junaid the Fearless? He's actually not that bad. <clears throat> yeah. Um there's no weapons because of the revolt. I think I do have to rely on consumables to get through the first fight. I can actually sell this crap though, right? And what do I buy? There's no weapons for sale because of the revolt. 
I can buy two hats so my guys don't get one shot. Just generally correct. There's no spears or anything to buy. I buy a short bow. I don't really want to buy a short bow, guys. I buy throwables if they existed here. Yikers. I think we just bite the bullet and, and grab them, guys. I don't think we have a second great option otherwise. Alright. And I guess you get a pitchfork, buddy. This is what we go to battle with? Is this enough to have any chance of winning the fight? That's, uh, that's what I don't know. I'm not sure that it is. Like, we don't, we don't know the baseline minimums for winning the first fight in BCs. Obviously, this injury is quite bad. And the fact that our morale starts, starts low is also quite bad. And your injuries don't heal day one either. Like, this guy's kind of useless, but... Alright, so we have hybrid. I think you have to buy hoods, yeah. I think you have to. Is this guy a hybrid? This guy's probably just fodder, actually. 40, 3 stars is still pretty bad. This guy is a dervish. This guy's a banner. Yeah, I think you have to buy the hoods. He has plenty of fatigue. What are you talking about? He's got 100 fatigue and a star. Oh, that guy? Well, in... I don't think fatigue matters early game. Like, fatigue's not a real stat in the game. Outside of tanks, I don't think it matters. Like, we just we just take, like, uh, Exe and Crippling instead of... Uh... We just take Axie and Crippling instead of uh, Zerk Frenzy, and it's fine. Afternoon Cree. Well, they've all acted, so we can continue to back up, right? Get like one more shot off. Yeah, like, you don't need fatigue till you have Zerk Frenzy. Like, that dude does not survive for us to care about Zerk Frenzy, does he? That's like not gonna happen. The question is, is it worth building him into a thrower? Well... <laughs> that was the thrower that got both hits. The bow hasn't hit yet. Yeah, keep in mind, the bow has not actually hit a shot yet. Throwers certainly work. Oh, uh, we lost a guy. It was a no-loss run and we lost a guy. We, we got RNG'd. Basically. I mean, it's a no-loss run. We probably can't run, like, nimble damage builds in no-loss runs. Yeah. We got hit seven times in a row on 35%. I would, I'm willing to call that RNG. Like, I'm not a big RNG blamer. I am willing to call 735s in a row. Like, we checked the log. It was literally 735s in a row. Which is like... It's not um, impossible. It's like 8 in 100,000. That's the problem with no loss runs, though, is that... Uh, you actually have enough events to lose on, like, 8, eight in 100,000. Anyways, this run is what we're playing now. No loss runs get boring before they get won. That's the actual challenge. Boredom strikes before victory. The bow guy still hasn't hit a shot yet, by the way. <sighs> bow, bow guy zero hits in five, six turns. Great weapon, guys. Great weapon. 
No, he didn't. Did he? Well, see how much damage he did after the fight. He hit one shot. He hit one shot. Yeah. Great. Six turns, he hit one shot. <laughs> okay, we're still bad mood after that, huh? Oh, but a dude died, so they lose mood. Alright, so I mean, seven guys is enough to win a, a one skull pretty much every time, isn't it? There's no chance of fighting four outlaws, so we gotta run away. Throwers work. Bows are total garbage. I don't think we can afford to vendor a bow yet. Like, we don't get enough out of it. <laughs> I even took fast adaptation on him. He still can't hit anything. Well, no, it's... this One of these other guys is fast for now. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, just give him bullseye, and he can hit one to six behind cover, yeah. Because if we let him shoot for t for 12 and a half turns, if he gets 100 attack skill, and we let him shoot for 12 and a half turns, he'll kill a single chosen on his own. I'm going to lose more mood here. Yeah, yeah, because there's a, the guy with the injury is just not getting the bow. He's got 32 range skill with the injury. There's no way, right? Now, what do we have here? Can I do this? I can do this and hire one more guy. I guess we find out, right? Like, we need to find out what we can and can't do. This is testing and learning for, like, the limits of this origin. So, uh, I would say expect a large amount of wipes to be in this game. Would be my expectation. Because we can't test the limits if we're not willing to play near them, which means uh, likely deaths, right? Okay, seven cutthroats. This should be fine, right? Yeah, I can't give him a bow with 38 skill. I mean, he can't, he's not going to hit anything anyways. Actually, I should switch these weapons, huh? I probably need to use the doggo as well. And this frontline guy probably needs his hood. I don't want to shield or anything for him. He's a spear, buddy. Okay. Yeah, Bonk could be correct. So typically if you want to kite, you want to go to the desert because the Nomads are the least aggressive in terms of like closing in melee. Guys, we hit. Turn one, we hit. So if we spear well, they usually won't close in uh, this turn with like one guy maybe. If they jump in here, I think we should be able to kill them. The Hexen, Ceremonial Hexen Booper. Now, I probably want to take this high ground with one of my spear guys, right? I don't want to like, give them the high ground. I also don't want to expose my back lines, so we're going to keep backing up. That's not what I aimed at, but I'll take it. I will take it. Now I'm totally stammed out of my front lines from the spear walls. So they're not going to be effective in melee. And this, this amount of spear walls may actually be a mistake. We'll see. I guess if they fail, it's a mistake. <laughs> Like, I could, I could spear all one more guy. These guys probably shouldn't. Whatever, I'm gonna do it. The speedum guy can, can spear all too.
5%. The shield one. Do I move here and take a better shot? Oh, I can move here and take an aim shot. Nice. I probably need to unleash Doggo next turn, don't I? Eighteen percent. God, I love bows. We lost a guy. Yeah, I, I think I don't think we're gonna do more no loss rooms, guys. I think they're not good content. I think they're fine when the stream is like thirty people. I think at this point, like, we would rather be educational about the game, or like, I want to run at stuff with 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 uh, no star day tellers. Is that's that is the core Battle Brothers gameplay loop. That's what we should be doing. This, we didn't overextend to take this fight, did we? This is a good, this is a fine fight. I mean, it doesn't look like a fine fight. Looks like we're getting yeeted. This guy's fodder. I don't think it's really even greed. I think we can just do good stuff, do stuff with bad brothers, because that's how the game is like meant to be played. Good luck, Amira. You need it. I don't like playing much fast. We have we ha we do have quicker gigging tea. I don't want to play any faster than this. I've done like four Legends playthroughs, Brendley. Yeah, I've, I've done like four or five Legends playthroughs. I think that's all that I want to play Legends for. This guy gets nine lives, clearly, right? This guy's not. I mean, he, could, he would be a fatigue neutral if we have infinite money. Um, It's been good, Amira. I can't afford to treat your injuries. Yeah, I mean, I haven't played Legends for a while. Maybe it's just, like different now, but I think still conceptually, it's not what I'm looking for out of the game. I mean, I need tools and, and ammo, and that's all the money I have. I haven't, I haven't played it for a year or two. I can't. I mean, I tried watching somebody else stream it. I can't. I just don't like the graphics either. I can't get into it. There's like a very large gap in the quality between the uh, the native game graphics and the modded graphics. And I think that kind of makes it hard for me to watch. I actually would like to do a delivery. Because we are broke and don't have any frontliners. I, we don't have any money. Like, we have to buy people. I don't, I don't think a net's even a good buy right now. Like, no cap. Yeah, I, I couldn't really... If this guy has a front line, he's not really a front liner. Thank you. Yeah, we're we're playing on 4x speed. I don't want to play an 8x or 16x. There's, there's too many too many bad things that happen on the global map getting ambushed. What's this? One cutthroat and how many outlaws? Four? I don't think we fight this, do we? We have two conscripts. Can we fight this, guys? 
I don't see why he fight this during the day. Like, I can't imagine how we would win this fight. Oh, we don't have any money in Arth. We have 200 gold. We can't even afford to hire a cripple. Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know how we'd fight this. In the day, I would consider it. I would rather have a cripple than a gnat. So I think... Yeah, I don't think this is a good one. I think... Where are we going? Nebelheim, small village. We want to explore the map. We would like to fight seven thugs. There's a tier two village here. Um, we could beat... I don't think we even beat beast fights. I don't, I don't think so, Numar. Um, I don't think we can beat beast fights without armor, guys. Eh, that's usable arm string. Yeah, that's good, actually. That's fine. So... I don't think we win this. We could try this. Maybe we can do it. If we hire this rat catcher. I guess we take all the weapons we can use. So what, what? Possibly we started fighting too early, and because of these losses, we're falling behind the curve. We lost three fodder. I don't think that's true. I don't think we fight. Do we fight nachos, guys? We have spears and shields. We can't like really kite beasts. I saw the the picture in your Discord, Nature. That was a really good. That's a really good roll. Um. We probably have to frontline the melee defense beastie. We have to switch weapons around. Surely, someone someone else has to frontline. That's like the first take home here. I don't use the pitchfork. Uh, where's the front? Where's the melee attack beastie? You take the boar spear. You have to. You have to do some work here, my friend. Uh, do you have a hat for you? Do you have a hat. I guess you don't get a hat, Gerald. Good luck. Who has nine lives? You have nine lives. I guess nine lives doesn't get a hat. This is what we're at, guys. You have nine lives, so you don't get a hat. This is, this is day one beast slayers things. Yeah, I think three spears. We don't have a melee skill, though. That's the thing to remember. These guys do not have a melee skill. This guy does, but these two don't. They're not going to hit stuff. Well, let's keep that in mind. We can back up one tile, which will deny them an attack next turn, and let us use aim chat. That seems reasonable. Oh, rip. When I don't want you to hit things, you finally hit things, huh? There's a tier 2 we have to deal with now. Thank you for the headshot. This guy's dead. Maybe a drill sergeant. The problem is we have to we have, we have to get him killed and then and get the claim the corpse back. So you bleed out this turn.
Don't kill my good guy. You can kill that guy, I don't care. Yeah, it's definitely a hard origin. Alright, this guy's our drill sergeant, right? This guy's our drill sergeant. Alright, good job, rat catcher. You did your job. Alright, Balder the Dervish. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, it's one of the harder origins. Um, yikes on this injury. I think he's just stuck dying for the team, honestly. Okay, uh, this, this. What else are we taking, guys? 60 HP is not bad. I'm gonna take the resolve. Fast. Uh, you got fast, you got quick, we got, we got path. What are we taking? I also got gifted. I just want to hit stuff. I just want to hit stuff, guys. Is this sacrilege? To take this HP over the... And you're my banner? What do you get? I'm pretty sure you get gifted. Okay. Alright, so switch these around. Well, you're still throwing in the banner. It's my best weapon. Oh, no, no. Let's switch. Let's switch. Boom. You have fast. You take this. You take this. It's a pitchfork for you. Okay, so we need like some cup of fodder. Yeah, the economy is a real struggle here, isn't it? A real struggle. I think I actually have to hire some fodder to do this. I actually want to go in the day. Yeah, because I don't have fodder. I could sell stuff to hire the thief, which is... We're going to get plenty of beast parts, right? I, I hate to do this. But we're going to get plenty of beast parts eventually. We have to be able to fight now. And there's only one thief to hire. Like, I... Obviously, we don't want to be... Um... Man, I think I have to use shields in my front line. This guy doesn't have any melee defense, right? He has to go up front. Where's a spear? I don't. Here's a spear, shield. Here's a hat for you. Oh, you're you're gonna die again. I did give you nine lives. Good luck, my friend. You may need it. We can't. I mean, there's no consumables that we're allowed to or able to bring. We can't buy them. Pocket shield, I guess. I just hope there's no raiders. If there's a raider, we'd probably just, just die. Some raiders. I don't see how we'd ever beat some raiders. Uh, I, how do we beat four raiders? <clears throat> if they have throwing weapons, we just die. We don't have a net. Let's see what their equipment loadout is and then rethink. Oh god. I mean, there's some high ground back here we can use. I think we just we just uh, trust in the heart of the high ground, right? They got the guns, but we got the numbers, as the doors would say. Uh, I think Alchemist is a late game luxury. I don't think, ooh, I don't really want to put my good guy here, but I don't think I have another option, guys. I think I have to go ham on this, on this guy. I think the line of play of... Okay. Get this guy out of my way. I, okay, I don't. I can't, I can't let him hit, hit me from the high ground with this weapon. I don't get to go here, do I? This guy hits me high ground. Do I get to not go here is another question. I, I I don't like any of the plays I have available. Now he hits this guy without a without a hat.
I should have just gone here with, with this guy. Okay, nine lives trigger. We gotta get my boar spear in there. They hit him anyways. Let's let's shield wall. Okay, nice. Um, let's think on this. We can actually just. I get to move one and aim shot, right? This guy has to fight. I don't care if he dies. It's not my problem. This guy get one shot by a headshot. That's the qu question one. It does he? Question two is that my problem? So who acts first? If I go here, we ever my whole team attacks before this guy. I think I just do this. I think I just go ham, right? They're gonna go ham on the nine lives guy. GG thief. It's been good. Terrified, traumatized. I don't think we can afford this injury, guys. The 23 resolve is gonna cause a chain wipe. <clears throat> I mean it went well, yeah, it went well. We got helms. We got helms. Like that's we got three helms even. Boom. 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 Mace, double grip, got a boar spear, I got this thing, and you get a pitchfork. Yeah, I think that can't really go better, can it? I got two morning stars. Where's your helm, buddy? You're up front. You take this heavy helm. You get this... Keep your hat, I guess. Yeah, I think that's about as good as it gets. Like, obviously getting the armors there is kind of a pipe dream. One fifty ammo. Um Where can we boat to? We're boating somewhere. Grotenhaven's a big harbor city. Let's get something here. Get something going, guys. Okay, what can I sell? <laughs> We're beasties, so we don't get money for selling things. Is what you're telling me, game? Okay, who are we hiring? Guy has a net and a, and a knife. Are we just team fishermen? I'm pretty sure we're just team fishermen, guys. Yeah, let's go team fishermen. Fishermen are technically beast hunters as well. Uh, okay, 53 attack and huge. So I think shields increase in value in beasties. Because uh, your backline actually does a ton of damage. So I'd say normally I'm a shield hater. I'd say in beasties we can probably make it work. Did I sell all my shields? No, here's one. Here's a shield, here's a spear, here's a dagger. We actually have some knives. We can start thinking about armors, maybe. Got some butter knives. You, here's a speed em. 55 to 75. Better than a hook blade. So I need two more hats. So I have a beastie up front. I 
with a double grip mace and a shield and backpack. Hopefully there's no range. If there's a range, I'd probably take out the shield. Uh, hopefully this is seven thugs. It is indeed seven thugs. Do I even care about the mace against thugs? I could just give them the boar spear and have them rip. I think we save these maces for fights against armored stuff. I have a spear somewhere for you, buddy, right? Sword, shield. Yeah, I think I'll just give him a mace and have him rip. Or uh, the boar spear. Um, Do they target him if I do this? I think we just have to kill his stuff that targets him first. Here's a net. Here's a net. Let's save these nets. We're hoping to convert these nets into chainmails. That's the goal of them. Yeah, I think so. I think it's like the best weapon we could have. Against the thugs. He also has lots of fatigues. So I think we could afford to shield the spear wall with him. I think the thugs will, will try to close melee here. Oh, they're going to kite around the shield, the spear wall. Look at this. Spear wall putting in work. So I blow these guys up and I spear all the top ones, correct? That's my... Bow guy? Bow guy? I don't need to try to blow. I just shield ball you, right? I don't need to. I can move up here. I don't need to. I have range damage and they don't. Like, let them come. I don't need to move here with this guy and get piked. You can just wait. If they step here, I think they die. Yeah, bow guy kill. Yeah. He doesn't need to. I, I'm gonna wait. I don't need to take, take an axe with him. Forty-five, sixty-five. Get some. Sigurd the Fisher. It's kill or be killed, boy, my friend. I would prefer that you chose the kill option. But if you want to get killed, that's on you. I think I actually dagger this guy. I could use a Gambison. I don't even think I have to pay a net for it. Okay. Get some. Good fight. Yeah, Gambison. I'm happy with that. Alright, we get to put Gambison. We now have a Brigand Thug on our front line. Balder the Dervish. We should name them after... What, what are we naming guys after this run? Um, take the Resolve. Take Quick Hands. Musketeers. This dude's going to be a Dervish. Azuki! Pasta Dishes. Intellectual Twitch Chatters. So, just do this. For everybody. Because everybody's just this. <sighs> Alright, we survive. We did miss Payday, but... Sounds like not my problem. Um, I mean... I think we take the caravan. Bruenthal, two days east. Yeah, I think we take the caravan. I don't see what else we're doing right now. We don't have tools or food or ammo or anything. 
Bonnie's the hybrid. Guys, we can hire Ratney with our 203 gold. It's actually, I think it's like a pretty good start so far. I have six guys that aren't dead. Uh, I have spears. I have butter knives. I have some nets for when I need them. I'm pretty sure we never passed this ambition. It's a thousand gold for a good reach weapon and, and renown and like resolve boost for the team. Yeah, dragon shields are nice too. A little bit like they break, sure, but it is a little more, uh, a little more defense. Okay, we should see what's in Nebelheim or passing through. Beast hunt. We really would like better gear for beast hunts. I think we're real pretty good against spooters with all the spears we have. That boar spear will carry against spooters. Nachos. I think we probably lose a couple guys. No, I think it's not meant to have damage. I think that's the point. I think I want to hire one more dude before I go do this. I also want to go in the day. Alright, who wants to come help? We got a servant or 440 gold for a trashy caravan hand. Alright, buddy. Good luck. Here's a spear. I'm assuming we have some brigands in here, so we got quick hands on you. Uh, let's give you the uh, multiple nets then. Uh, butter nut knives on everybody up front. If we have raiders, I think we still rock the spears, just because, like, force of numbers. Uh, tools are a myth. We don't need them. Okay, six thugs and one raider. So hopefully one of these guys can shield wall and maybe survive the raider, and then we can puncture him down. Although this dude's worth keeping, isn't he? Determined 57. Like, these guys are fine. This, this guy's, like, okay. Maybe he's not fine. Counterhead's gonna panic and die this fight. This guy is probably usable as something. Yeah, he's got duelist stars, exactly. Okay. Boar Spear on this raider. I don't think we get to dagger a uh, double grip boar spear, guys. Yeah, I don't think double I don't think we get to dagger him. He, unless he panics, there's like it's not happening. Okay, so they're going to try to take my high ground. I did not spear all because they couldn't have shot me. So. You can go here. One day you will hit, my friend. That day may not be today. Can he actually get here or can he not get there? One, two, three. He should get to this tile, right? I'm not getting debated. Let them come. I have a clean shot. I'm taking it. Nice. I'll take it. I don't want this guy to one-on-one -on -one my good guy, do I? Balder the Dervish. But I kind of have to... If I go back and spear on the spear all fails, my hybrid dies. I think I just stuck spear wall in here and then netting the raider. It's not like what we want to be happening in the run right now, but. Ooh, okay. Ooh. 
I, I kind of want to close melee with them. This is why I take Colossus toys. Um, Flail. We're going hard, guys. We're, we're getting in there and going ham. Am I butter knifing this down? I have a gnat. You know, screw this guy. If I can break his morale, I'm going to stab before I surround to go for the morale break. I have another gnat as well. Nice. Morale check. I don't care if this guy dies. I know he's going to get hit like more than is necessary. Okay. And go for the full surround. Boom. Nice! That was clean. Got a chain mail. Uh, we lost a bro. So the run's over. I don't think we do another no loss run. I think it's, uh, kind of boring. What am I doing with this guy? Let me think on him. You obviously could dodge, like, no question. Boom. I actually think we're pretty good on the HP for this guy. I think we're pretty good on his HP, guys. Alright, gear of the hybrid. We're skipping Colossus for fast on you. Uh, we got hit. Uh, you can check the VOD. <laughs> we, maybe someone can clip it. Um, we got hit. One of our guys got hit seven times in a row. One of our guys got one-on-one -on -one by- our level 11 guy got one-on-one -on -one by a fallen hero with a shield and arming sword. In- in two turns. He got two turns killed by a fallen hero with a shield and arming sword. Alright, this dude. Uh, quick hands. Pull off the banner. Um... We don't really need more fatigue, do we? I think I just take the defense. I'm pretty sure I take... I'm down for student, right? Or Pathfinder. Like, he needs fort and rally. I think I just take fort, actually. Okay, so what are we giving lean hard? This is the kind of guy I would give adrenaline to, right? I think this is an adrenaline dude. Boom, adrenaline, and you get the Guten Dog. Azagir here, are you getting uh nine lives of Colossus, sixty HP, good resolve. I think I just hit Colossus. If he was injured at all, we'd take nine. But I think Colossus beats it here. Yeah, I, I think those things are avoidable by being super boring. The question is, do we want to do a no-loss run again and be super boring? I think the answer is no. Let's just play the game correctly and not... Uh... Not do... Not, like, not be, like, boring... And annoying. Alright, this dude, I have to treat this injury, don't I? This dude should actually get the armor. No, he's gonna die. He doesn't get the armor. Um, do we have a hat? Everyone has hats, except for Junaid. Is there a temple here? No. I do need tools. Um, 12 gold butter knife, I think is an insta buy. Who still needs a butter knife? There's a butter knife for you. Extra set of jabs, let's go. Well, you have quick hands, so you take the jabs. You take the butter knife. Well, what's fast? They both have fast. You take the butter knife. I don't think I need to buy you a hat right now. Uh, this is better than a pitchfork. 
you're a hybrid though, so you put the net. I always assume we're throwing the net, huh? That's the assumption and its net gets thrown. You give a backpack shield that things get ugly. Um, it's good on this kind of guy. High attack, moderate fatigue, I have a two-handed weapon. It's a situational tactical perk. Get some food. Definitely not a perk to ignore. Bit of Brunheld, and there was a quest in... Wait, where's Brunheld? Oh, it's down here probably, right? I think we just do this. Oh, Nebelheim. It's so close, it's a port town. I think we just do this. We pick adrenaline usually on like one one or two guys early get adrenaline. Okay, follow the tracks. This is gonna have raiders, so we probably need to blow all of our nets for this fight. Five raiders. Uh I could hire some more cheap guys. Uh oh. My hybrid is like out of commission. There's nobody here to hire. What does the boat cost? Alright, guys. God. Disaster. Uh, what is the boat back? I don't want to pay this for an indebted, but I need warm bodies. Can I sell stuff here? I mean, these guys are net throwers. This guy's actually not bad. You get a net and a spear. Uh, I mean, this guy is just kind of in trouble. You get a net and a spear. You guys get to go ham on somebody. Uh, good luck. I kind of want a hat for Gira. What does the boat back cost? Where's my mission? Nebelheim. It's five raiders. 120. So I have 160 gold to spend. We have a net. I'm buying a hat for my injured guy. He's not. He's not dying because I didn't. I didn't buy a hat. He might die because of this injury. But he's he's not buying because I didn't have a hat. That's for sure. All right, we have nets on everybody. Bought all the nets in the world. Do I just blow these guys out with daggers from day one? I actually think that's probably correct. We do this, right? These guys just go ham with daggers. We have shields to switch to. I have another butter knife here, yeah. There's five raiders, so these dudes together can just swarm one raider. And these guys take the other four. And backup spears as weapons for things get spicy. Good luck. Alright, I don't have any more gold to spend. We're in Nebelheim. I have 30 gold. Anything I can buy for 30 gold to help this fight. <laughs> a hat? Okay, I'll buy a hat. For who gets a hat? You get a hat. Okay. Actually selling these safes for another hat too. It's probably worth it. 43 gold. That way we want to get one shot on head taps and like chain route. That's the concern in these fights. Uh, because your attack skill sucks right now, we're going to give both the jabs to Junaid. 48, yeah. Well, they have... We have quick, we can give you jabs. You have quick, we can do this. You get the better melee weapon. Okay, um, I probably sell the safe one here. I need these t-shirts upgrades for anybody. Yeah, that's like a little bit more armor. Um, do I dump these maces, guys? I don't know. We need to get back. I could dump these maces and get one more fodder. It's probably not worth it. He wasn't even separated from a warden. They were next to each other. They just literally got hit seven turns in a row on 35%. Which... Maybe I should have planned for. Like, I think that's just not a build you would run in no loss. Maybe it would, maybe it would have to have nine. He dies with nine lives there too. 
Yeah, I think that's just that's just Battle Brothers, guys. Like, the only way to avoid that stuff is by by playing super boring. And I don't want to do that. I'd rather just play actual games and like occasionally lose one or two brothers a run. Okay, so where's my puncture party happening? This guy dies, right? Like this guy's meant to die. I don't go here. I go here. Um. I could net this guy. I actually want to puncture. That's a falchion. I don't, we don't have time to puncture the first couple, guys. That's just the way it is. 69, 73, we're focusing, though. Trust in the heart of the spear wall. Okay. We don't care about puncturing this guy. We could puncture this guy maybe once the fight's won. Um, I think these guys... Get some. Adrenaline. Um... He moves and he stabs. I could go here and shield wall to lock him in. This guy has like armor, good quote armor. <laughs> uh, he could take one of these tiles. This guy needs to die. This guy we can puncture. I have a net somewhere from, don't I? I puncture party here and kill here. Kind of like that. I'm take the shield out. Alright, don't kill somebody, please. Thank you for shield lying. Um, is there a dagger anywhere I can pick up? I mean, I could do this just to zone a tile. That seems reasonable. I don't need to get reposted into, that's for sure. I did use all my nets. Um, we die in a headshot and then he gets confident. I'm not gonna- I'm gonna wait. I could also- whoops, that was the wrong button. Well, that's what I was afraid of. Alright. Oh, uh, we traded a fodder for a set of armor. I'm happy. Yeah. That's the way the cookie crumbled, boys. Your life was worth less than a lamellar. You're injured, so you get the armor. You're injured and we care about you. These dudes, like... If we get the banner, they're actually a lot better. So we have some damage bros here. Um, upgrade to Falchion. I kind of like him with the Boar Spear. For now, actually, but... I think it's 73 attack. I kind of like the Boar Spear. I just want to hit every attack with him. And be able to actually zone people. Uh, Frontliner, you probably need this. Uh, here's a hat for you. And that was a pretty good fight. I'm pretty happy with that. I think we have to be running shields on people. This guy doesn't really need one. So I have two damage bros, some shield bros. You have Colossus. I think you're a damage bro. Here, take this Falchion, buddy. And everybody's got a fisherman's knife. I did use all my nets. 
Well, that was five raiders, so. Yeah. Sometimes uh, you have to dagger chosen for those armors. Or dagger reavers. Zero ammo. Where are we going? I think we go back to Al Anwar, guys. I think that's our play. The request there, right? Uh, beast hunt. I think we have to. Definitely need to buy ammo. I think I have to sell. I don't want to sell my maces, guys. Don't make me sell my maces. Um, guess we have to buy tools after this, huh? Yeah. Oh, um, I want more jabs. I want... <sighs> we're so broke. <laughs> yeah, we're so broke. Beast Lair is a tough origin. Tough origin, for sure. I think it's beasts. I think I'd rather have shield. I think, yeah, I think I want shields for beasts. This guy has dodge. He doesn't really need a shield. Seven cutthroats. Let's go. Let me go grab a drink. I'll be right back. Like two minutes. All right, I'm back. I'm almost done with my cup of coffee, so I have to have a, a something else nearby to drink. Okay, yeah. Uh, seven cutthroats is a great fight, right? I want the cutthroats. Okay, hyenas first. No, cutthroats first. Wait. Huh. These, these cutthroats are going to gang up. We better go with the hyenas while it's still day. Four hyenas. We're going to lose like two people. I wanted to fight the cutthroats first because we likely lose people fighting hyenas. I don't really want to move a lot because we don't have Pathfinder on people, so lose a bunch of fatigue. Mm, I think I want to aggress here. This guy probably does not make it. Hope they don't jump. <laughs> this guy's like, wait, why me? Why now? Hmm. 
zone. That was clean. Clean. Adrenaline, spear wall. Pushing special buttons, guys. Alright. So this dude nine lives is bad because he has no resolve, right? Thank you. Um We make him a fodder tank, which means we just do this. So Klaus's effectively increases resolve as well. When you get hit, the resolve check is based on percentage of max HP. So this is where Klaus is worth like two resolve as well. Mm, I don't want to fight. Do I want to fight nine? I would love to fight seven. I mean, I go here and I grab brothers and I go chase these guys. I want like two more warm bodies, please. I go one. I mean, I guess we get a slave with a shield and a spear. Good luck. Oh, you're dexterous. Do you get a hat? Here's a hat for you, then. Look how luxurious your first day at work is. You get a free hat when you sign up to work here. Oh, yeah, Arena. We should check. It's a good point. After this fight. Yeah, I probably have to just sell the saliva, don't I? Because Archer's starting to hit stuff. What's what's going on in the world here? Uh, I mean, I, just, I don't do anything weird here, do I? Shield wall, attack. I did adrenaline here, but adrenaline's for this guy. I think this guy's shield walls. <clears throat> I don't need to move this guy up yet. I probably focus him here. Rashid is willing to die to zone this guy. I asked him. He said he's willing to take one for the team. I have his full informed consent. Maybe we can save uh, Azagar here. Nice. Get some. Yeah, we lost the guy. Yeah, just no lot. Just got orange. You got battle brothers, right? Like, I think the way of no to succeed at no loss is to be boring. I think it's just not a good, uh, not maybe the content we should be making. All right, you get nine lives, buddy. No, do we just get fast? Let's let's look at our guys and think. Okay, this guy, bruised leg. This guy gets nine lives, right? He's got nine lives, he's got adrenaline, he's got our, our damage weapon. We tell him good luck. Uh, defense Brothers. 
We have no valid defense brothers, do we? I don't see any valid defense brothers. This guy doesn't need fast. This guy's actually pretty good. That's pretty good. We have zero valid defense brothers. How do we fix that? We we'll use spear wall instead of having defense, right? That's like... That's like our closest fix. We got fast. We go XC for more damage. That's our beast. That's our starting beast slayer. He's good. Oh, we lost a guy. I, I don't think we do no loss anymore, guys. It's too boring. So XE is like moderate damage. I think we just go gifted. We just go gifted. We just hit stuff, right? We hit stuff. We don't care about other things. We take all the perks that help us hit stuff. Yeah. Hakan, what helps him survive? Nine lives doesn't help with 34 resolve. Fast adaptation with a spear. He doesn't have he doesn't have enough fatigue to ever use a mace. I think it's just Colossus. Like I think I think Colossus at 50 HP feels bad, but again, we don't have the resolve to take to take nine lives. We still don't have the banner. If we had the banner, nine lives gets better too. Um, we could go fast for mass puncturing. There's another option, All right? Uh, spread out the butter knives. I mean, you're on the flank. You can get, I can get a better hat. We sell the saliva. The slings are actually pretty good. You can actually start with the sling. 45 range, and I have quick hands. So you can actually start with the sling. Worst case, I get fast stacks, right? Everybody's got a backpack shield. I keep a couple of these, but for the most part, we sell this stuff, right? Like, we're just broke. Uh, I'm, I am going to hoard those morning stars, guys. Who gets this better helm? Because I'm excited about finding 50 helms. This is why early game is best game. Yeah, we need better brothers to mass puncture is the issue. Do I have enough tools? I have enough tools. I think I still have to buy some, though. We, don't, we need better brothers to puncture, that's the issue. Our brothers are trash. We're gonna check the arena. <laughs> Four nachos, no thanks. Well, there were seven cutthroats out here, so we can go chase them. There they are. Yeah, like we could sell them and hire like one more cripple. But. Um, bruised leg, I don't care. You have nine lives, you have to front line. Uh, it does trigger on Spearwall misses, but that's not necessarily helpful. You kind of want to hit with Spearwall. I think we have high ground here, don't we? I think we just go. Where's my Archer, though? 32? I mean... Yeah, the thing is, the first time you miss Spearwall, the Spearwall fails. So, that means fast is generally not good on Spearwall. This guy doesn't actually want to get attacked. He wants to step back. They want to go up the side, huh? I just sling them to death. Get some. This is the point of the game, guys, when slings are very good weapons. Like, you're probably taking Throwing Master at level 5 on, like, your entire back line, right? You could come. I don't- you can't kill him. They're bad- between short bows and hunting bows, they also cost zero ammo. Yeah, only ever matters with mastery, that's probably correct. We just hold the line, right? We got we got mass ranged. I mean maybe maybe this dude dies, but that's kind of 
Dem Everyone is alive in life. I can't, actually can't move and swing because I in adrenaline because of the injury, but you have that big weapon so you can kill stuff. Thirty-two. I mean. Guy's experience in gold, he's gonna run away. I don't think I let him get away, guys. That was a really good fight, then. See, we had. Four fights in a day. Three. We probably go find the camp they came from. Okay, this guy. 49 attack. Do we bother? I think this guy gets fast with a spear. Like, what else? We 77. He could have a Gutendag, a Morning Star. But I'm pretty sure the spear is still better even with fast. I don't know. 77 fatigue. He's dexterous and has fifty. Oh, he's fifty-four. Let's give him. The, let's give him this weapon. Give him fast. Have him hit stuff. Have a spear in your backpack in case. All right, I think we find the camp they came from. I bet there's a tier one nomad camp back here. We follow the footprints back where they came from. Okay. Oh, uh, there is a nomad camp. It's not one we can fight. There's another also a nomad camp here. Is there a quest or anything? Um. Yeah, yeah, tier one I say. Well, usually small camps spawn small, small patrols. Uh, sometimes, sometimes stream are wrong. Uh, they make it might have come from a different camp in here. Across the desert here, looking for a camp to fight. Four thugs, four raiders. I think we can beat this fight. What do you guys think? Four thugs, four raiders? Maybe if the injuries heal. Give it a tick. I don't think we get much daggering done. I think if we kill the thugs... Oh, I don't want to fight four young, do I? Right, where are you going at? Nice flat terrain. If they don't have too many throwing weapons. Yeah, we do want to get to 12. Alright, anything here we would try to dagger. The shield Morningstar chainmail guy would like to try to dagger. But I think we do the old backup 2 trick here. And backup 2 and spear wall. A lot of injuries did heal, so that's good. One, two, three. This guy, this guy never gets staggered, like no matter what. This guy's a potential dagger target. Should the fight go reasonably well. Let's see. Like, we attack other stuff. Get some. Okay. Reasonably while well. we daggering, are we greed daggering guys? One, two, three tile. We bow or, or, or throw? We need to kill this guy. Let's throw. Um 
You do not yet. You can't move an adrenaline. I could take out a. He's dazed. I don't think I need to take out a shield. Uh, shield. Greed is good, right? Trust in the heart of the spear wall. You have nine lives. You're good. You get two attacks. Get some. Let me kill this boar spear guy. Get some. Hmm. I can take out a shield so I can get by the goon dog. I like that. Get some. Good job, Linehard. Wait till the shield wall goes away. Okay. I'm just gonna zone him for the experience. Attack now to hope for the morale break. This guy may. Ooh, a morning star. Nine lives already triggered. I can move up and attack. Let's consider our options here. Let's see if these. Uh, any of these. Uh, I would javelin this guy as well. How many do I have left? Two? Perfect. Get some. I don't have a hard and fast rule. I dagger if I feel good about it. Yeah, exactly, Chaga. That's more that's more my style. Alright, so we give this dude Colossus. We have a desperate resolve problem on him. I think I just take gifted to fix his desperate resolve problem. This dude is probably a puncture, bro. Okay. Lean hard. How many medical supplies do I have? I mean, this guy's worth buying a stack of medical supplies to save, isn't he? He's huge with adrenaline level 3. This guy, I think we also have a desperate resolve problem. Like, we just take gifted to fix this resolve. Well, Glaz runs into problems pretty quickly. The starting brothers are slightly weaker. Um, Glaz has economy problems once you have the early game. Assuming you don't mind chain rolling early game, uh, Glaz becomes a little bit easier. But I think if you play a Glaz run in vanilla, you will you will start to see. If you play RRU Glads. And play 10 runs and see how many are good. 
Just keep like a one sentence knowing what the run was. Well, but that translates to in combat too, guys. Like, money is power in this game. Okay, so... Gearing. Um, 64 attack and good fatigue. Let's give you a nice weapon. Rashid, I did give you fast, which means I don't really want to give you a spear. This is fine. This guy is actually pretty decent. Like, this guy is actually pretty decent now. I don't... Yeah, this is actually a good indebted. Let's give him some chainmail and a helm. Like, no cap. This guy actually probably gets dodge. Actually, this guy can become a shield mace and... Um, what are we calling this build, guys? This is a new build we need to run. It's actually a really old, it's an old build that we retired. Alright. <laughs> Let me collect my thoughts. So this is a build I used to run quite a long time ago. Um, before I was spamming dodge quick hands. Something about like this. Think of the fellow dang. What makes it relevant is it, again is the Katals. So this is like an early game version of a warden. But this guy probably wants fort. This could be fast or fort. This is a patch perk. His job is to go stun stuff or in down. Either one. So. This guy is going to be a dervish. I mean, this guy actually probably is pretty good. If we take fort. If we take fort. We don't even need fort, do we? We don't need fast. This guy's pretty good. We just get to take... This guy's actually legit good. Shoemace guys tend to be a little less flexible than dodge quick hands for a similar stat line. I think shield mace is like it's good if you can also take Indom. So watch what what's a like a lower tier guard compared to a warden? But the fact is, the, Katal, the Shield Mace guy stunning for the Katal Death Blow is actually a good combo. Alright, so... Like, who who gets who gets titles to stay with the team? Uh, these guys were... What do we call the Backliners again, guys? The Sandstorm? The Mirage, right? Alright, wait, let's get some names for people we're keeping. We have two hybrids and a banner. Uh, animals, right? So, this guy could be a falcon. This guy can be a raven. Let's do the other way around. Falcon hunts other animals, right? This guy can be a raven. A uh, noisy animal. And then a name for the shield mace build. So this guy's dervish. What kind of snake is he? A cocky snake. That's a cobra. Azagir. This guy... We could run shield, mace, shield maces and dervishes. This guy could be a dervish even. 13 defense. 115 resolve. This guy's a dervish. What's a confident snake? Asp? So let's keep the guys we want to keep. We need to armor on the frontliners, unfortunately. This guy's benched. These guys are the fodder, right? At this point. They're not even that bad, honestly. Okay. Yeah, they're not even that bad. Like, no cap. Okay. Oh, uh, we lost a guy. Yeah, we lost a guy. Okay, I, th I think I think we're in a good situation here. This is our banner. Let's keep him in the middle. We probably don't take rally quite yet. Potential nomad camp here. Potential nomad camp up here. We're gonna head towards the 
other southern town. We can see a road heading towards it. Not fightable with our current loadouts and brothers. Oh, nomads, nomads. Perfect. I mean, it's fine. It, it, I think everyone is getting boring with the no loss run. I think it's more interesting in in theory than in practice. We've done like five no loss runs. It's a question of how much, how grindy do we want to be? I'd say more than anything else. Thirty, twenty-five, boom. This is the real value of slings, is those fast stacks. Yeah, yeah, we, we Yeah, I think so. I think contracts are uh you need to do them early often. I think we we back up again, we could actually... What do you think about doing this and just continuing to back up? Looks like they're not gonna let us, but that's okay. Yeah. Oh, uh, we we never use archers, Helsing. Yeah, we never use archers. I think that it's the worst weapon in the game. Mm. This guy doesn't have quick hands. He can just swing back here. Yeah, I think bows are literally the worst weapon in the game, so I don't think that's something we will be doing. I think we're better off killing here than trying to protect him. Yep. Unless that was a cap. I don't, I don't know if you've been around here a lot. The worst uh, tier 3 weapon is by far the war bow, though. The Warbow is less damage than a uh, bundle of javelins. No, 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 no. We we don't we don't do those kind of things. We don't we don't we don't do bad build challenges. It's, they're they're a waste of time. We we know the we know, we know certain weapons and builds are bad. We don't need to continue to use them. There's no sense in that. There's some nomad camps out here where they're coming from, right? I could follow their footprints back and look for their camp, but we'll just remember there's a nomad camp somewhere around here. There's no reason to do stupid stuff and have bad runs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I can't tell. People suggest meme runs often. It's not like, not stuff we are interested in doing. Um, okay, I have enough tools, what are my quests? A beast hunt, delivery, we take the beast hunt, 25 shots to kill a chosen with 104 range skill. So max roll 3 star hunter takes 25 shots to kill a chosen. Now, some people may say that measuring stuff by hits to kill chosen defeats the purpose of the bow. Uh, I would agree. This guy's just fodder. I don't care. And say well, the purpose of the bow is not something we care about. Beating low tier enemies. I don't care about beating low tier enemies. We're going to beat low tier enemies no matter what we do. Uh, you have nine lives. You fight. It's that simple, but you can take a shield and a spear. Because we're fighting into beastie hunt. 
probably run shields for beastie hunts. I need to buy medicals. Yikes, there goes all my money. Um, I guess I have enough shields. I have like, I don't know, yeah. Like we have to, we have to sell stuff we don't want to sell, guys. It's, that, it's the way the cookie crumbles. <laughs> I mean, Bo actually looks better there. Yeah, compared to other weapons, like, Bo is decent damage on worms. Nine nachos. I have a lot of spear wall. Probably want to go... The armored guys probably should be double gripping. Yeah, armored guys can double grip. There is probably a tier 3 in there. and We don't have a mace dude or a gnat. Alright, wish me luck, boys. Alluring? Nothing. It's a, it's, it's a hard origin. It's like the fourth hardest origin, I think. This is an ugly fight. This is a very ugly fight, guys. So it's meant to be a challenge origin. It's not as bad as Lone Wolf or Glads, but... Well, it's supposed to be a hard origin. It's supposed to be a hard origin, guys. It's not... It's not meant to be... It's not meant to be easy. The easy origins are like... Northern Raider, Traitor... This guy can't actually move in Spearwall, can he? I actually don't want to hit. I don't want to get kills right now. I need to get somebody up here though. I don't know if you... Oh, this guy is... If I had adrenaline so I can get him into the correct positioning. I think I just screwed up. Yikes. I'm gonna, like, ra Raven might get caught here. Beast Slayers. This is Beast Slayers. I think better positioning. I, I think south is a little easier start. Since they took the snakes out of the south in the early game, I think it's actually a little easier. This is not correct up here. I don't. I guess I have a shield and a spear in his backpack. He's probably okay. If I kill this one, something eats. I need to wait. This guy gets aggressed on by challenging enemies, so let's be prepared for that. I don't think I need to kill this guy. I think I just take my shield out. This is bad. Some, okay, yeah. We knew this was a risk because we've just been hiring indebted. Um, hopefully we don't chain route here. We have to kill to try to get morale because we don't have the banner because we're broke. Good luck, buddy. I want my decent guys, too, but, like, what are we going to do, you know? I 
Obviously, like, one indebted dying is a great result. If this guy gets out, it's a great fight. I don't know that he does. This guy dying is kind of a problem. I mean, I can't push because we have pikes. Or we have uh, speed em. Oh, yeah. This is a big problem. This guy doesn't have any defensive perks yet. I don't, he could actually get two shot. Yeah. I think this is still, like, what we're going to get. I don't remember who died. I think it was just an indicted, right? Yeah, just an indicted. No problem. Yep, just two indebted. Both fodder died. The better guys have like titles and names. So if he's still like Rashid Ibn Tayyad, he's probably fodder. Yeah, thank you. That was a, I mean, these uh, this Beast Slayer is a tough start. Okay, Asp the Dervish. I get dodge. No, this is the good and dad had survived. This is the huge Guten Dog guy. So we just lost both fodder. So I think that's a very good result. We gotta be happy with that. We lost a brother, yeah. We gotta buy a tool. Um We have plenty of butter knives. We gotta buy ammo too. Like that's all our money. Like we actually lose money on that, don't we? I have to sell the beast parts, unfortunately. Um This is a delivery, I guess we take it while we heal. Anybody worth hiring here, guys? 350 caravan hand with an armor? I don't think we hire him. Sidak. So we go to Nebelheim and then boat. I look for that nomad camp up here. Okay, six cut. Ah, uh, one of the dervishes. Can somebody highlight it? Like, I don't. I don't mind that they're unlost, but I think the questions got answered like twenty times. Asked like twenty times in the last half hour. It's actually seven. <laughs> uh, but yeah, someone highlights it. They can make a command. Uh, that way, I don't have to keep answering how the last one got lost. This is a long chase. Maybe a bad one. No, you're good. You're good. Like, uh, we just should probably have a bot command for it. Like, it make, it's, like, it's like a reasonable question to ask, right? Not, I'm not saying it's unreasonable to ask. I'm just saying uh, we should. I should. I should probably highlight it. Twenty-three guys. Bows are so great. I get to miss everything at five tile range. We're literally using slings because we can't afford ammo. <laughs> just beast slayer things. We're basically cutthroats, right? We haven't we're not outlaws yet. Uh yeah, you can upload a pick. What? That was a broken elbow on that? Oh, he's got exposed ribs. Yikes. Fifteen five five five. Alright, you're out of the fight, aren't you, Raven? Like you have to just like run. I should, it should take it, yeah, it should take it. Uh, 
gonna check it after this fight. Uh, I'm gonna zone this guy. When do we get ahead of the curve in Beasties? Like, it's not never, right? At some point we get ahead of the curve. I can zone this guy here. It's fine. Probably once we get 12. It's just a little slower. No, I think that's like one of the worst ways to play those fights. You're better off killing the stuff in front of you and ignoring the Necro entirely. Their Hexen is like the only use case remaining. They're just bad guys. Like, it's fine that, some, that not every weapon in the game is good. Like, it's fine. Not every weapon in the game has to be equally good for the player. Not an expert. Like, this, this is probably balanced around veteran, right? It's, the bows are balanced around veteran difficulty when you when you fight, like, smaller groups of enemies. And having, like, a couple guys that are long range and don't do damage is actually probably good. I think that's probably a slow way to play. Uh, behave how is I think that's like a role play run. I don't think I don't think chasing beast contracts just gets you ahead of the curve. This is my my banner. Yeah, I wouldn't think I wouldn't like think that like that would be a great way to play. All right, let's check Koala's picture. Yeah, um, yeah, it's a good brother. <laughs> uh yeah. Iron Lungs, two-star defense? Yeah, this is a god. In fatigue neutral, that doesn't need weapon mastery. Hey, Bamba, good to see you, man. Alright, so this guy is gonna be a shield mace bro, we said, right? Let's fix this resolve. Um... Yeah, I need to fix the resolve. i probably take nine, then. I'm taking nine lives, boys. Over shield mastery? Um, yeah, for sure. Yeah, of course. That brother's worth 15k, the armor's worth 10k, the bonk's worth 3. You basically got, like, the brother's probably worth, like, 60 or 70k. You like, 100k value there. That's a very good brother. I think there's shield mastery, there's recover, and I think I take shield mastery for the defense, right? There's also nine lives. 62 HP guy. Okay. This is a excessive chase. We got a decent fight out of it. That's probably a bit spicy for us right now. We'd like to be able to hit those camps, but we're just not ahead of the curve like that. Alps, we'll come back for this. Yeah, we'll come back for the Alps for sure. Alright, Seedak Northwest. What's the three skull? Do I have money? Okay, but we do this. We insta hire everybody with a net. We should be able to do this with this with these nets. I can grab like one more guy maybe. I can't have money, do I? We've we've be, we've beaten that challenge several times. Uh, sip the one. We just lost one guy, but we've we've done that run challenge several times. This guy, I don't know what I make him. A low initiative. He does need a pull arm. Not the end of the world. Injuries back here. I'd probably give you the pull arm. Yeah, we've, we've done, I think, five no-loss runs, so I don't think it's impossible at all. 
You are just a net dagger and die guy. Yeah, it, it, it's it's something we used to do when we were a smaller stream, but I think it's uh as we get bigger, uh, it's too slow from a content perspective to play no lost friends anymore. So we started doing things we shouldn't have done. Yeah, and we got we got burned. But yeah, it's not it's not impossible. It's just grindy. It just takes quite a while. This guy's kind of a net daggering guy, die guy too, isn't he? Without the net piece. This is a, I mean, ugly fight. We have a lot of injuries. There's probably multiple raiders. Okay, two poachers, five raiders. Uh, I guess everyone gets shield against poachers then. Mm, the necro actually is not that bad this fight. What the heck is this fight? Let's make a command for a last run. <laughs> there is a last run command, right? Uh. There we go. Okay. Yeah, it's an old one. There we go. Okay. Um, I guess we go ham, guys. There's no dagger in here, that's for sure. Are they coming to us? I have three ranged. They have two. I think they come to us. The question is, do we want them to come to us? Or do we want this high ground? I think we want this high ground, boys. I have an idea. The problem is if we lose people, we are going to get absolutely demolished by, by, uh, this is such an awful fight already. Yeah, if we, if we lose people, we get absolutely demolished by the Necro, so like we have to play super passively. 59, 59. I guess the axe guy is technically more dangerous. I think this is probably a wipe. Uh, just a couple quality, little quality of life mods. Nothing that changes balance at all. Uh, this guy... I mean, you obviously throw a net, and then you have to chase Necro. We can't afford to let people die to the Necro. I, I don't think we win this fight. I think this is probably a wipe. How close do I have to be to actually shoot the Necro, guys? We used to be ahead of him, so we can't get raised. Like, I knew that was a possibility, but we had to go hard on these. It's 
Caught four bill hooks. Literally four bill hooks. Like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> Die like a dog? That seems to be what we're doing. Like, if I sit back, we just get yeeted. We have to, we have to get in and go ham. Like, no questions about it. If this guy kills this poacher, we can get in there. Now, of course, he's going to possess. I could shoot the necro, but that takes forever in a day. Of course, he's going to kill two people. We're going to lose like half our team here. Alright, who's going to die? Run hard, it's been good. Not everyone gets to survive Battle Brothers runs, I'm sorry. Today was not your day. Oh, I should have waited. Whoops, that was an oof. I mean, it's a three skull mission with a twist. Like, what are we expecting? With four bill hooks. If we get like two of the bill hooks, it's fine. Like we lost a we lost essentially a fodder, bro. It's not the end of the world. This guy's also kind of foddery. Like, we don't get to play safe and like try to keep people alive in these fights guys it's not it's not like something we can we're allowed with that's something we're allowed to do we have to go hard or we get wiped that is that simple it's kill or be killed boys sat There is a chain mail. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's the early game. That's what you do. You throw away fodder for, uh, for armors. And here. Man. Yeah, we lost a level 4 backliner, but he was like a day teller that was gonna get like 80 melee attack at level, range attack at level 11. It's fine. He had 92 fatigue. He was never gonna get Zerk Frenzy. We we're gonna have to like crippling Axie to, instead of Zerk Frenzy because we weren't able to level his skills. Um, I mean, I don't really want to pass this four in HP. Dervish, we like. We don't have. I think I just go Relentless, guys. I could also just go Axie now or Path. Hmm. We'll think for a second here. All right, Ibn. I don't know what you are. You're surviving, which is I'm happy with. Go nine. We can go fort. We can go shield mastery. Go fast. Sixty-two attack. Let's go fast. Giro the mirage. Boom. A throwing mastery. Let's go. This guy, you're promoted to the front line, my friend. Uh, as are you. You have gear for people now. Okay, this is good. That was a good fight. This guy, is, like, we can just take Dagger Mastery, right? We just take Dagger Mastery. And he can be a puncture, bro. Give you... Okay, Dervis. We have actually good armors now. 
And these guys are expected to be shield maces should they survive. Like, we're going to try these old builds. Is that what we're saying here? I think we run... We run spears on them for now. And this guy doesn't have to resolve the front line. Neither does he. I think we are stuck front lining them though. Like we need the the spot fillers. You have ten defense. Like you promoted, my friend. Take some basic gear. Got a chain hat. He's gonna be a Katal, bro. So we're gonna try instead of fat newts. And Katals, we're going to try um, Shield Maces in Katals. That's why we're saving, that's why we're hoarding Morning Stars. We're going to like three or four Shield Maces. Okay, so we need tools, I need food, I need ammo. Should I have ammo, but this is very cheap ammo. And there was a quest in Nebelheim. Let's go to Nebelheim then. We remember there being a quest there. Alps, let's go. Um, here's a here's a net with legs. And here's some nets without legs. Okay. So obviously we don't bring spirits in this fight. Bring some clubs and some nets. It's the everyone's load out. Nets and clubs for everybody. The sword's fine. Backpack the shield. Ah, uh, bill hooks. Of course. The net. You get a club. There you go. Um, sword club. Here's this. Okay. Any more nets? Okay. There's a club. Alright. Uh, you can have this axe. You think I got it once an axe. Alright. Second guy got no weapon. Alright, we got it. I think once you start to know what to look for, it's easy to start to see hybrids. It's easy to see builds once you start to know what to look for. But yeah, nothing's been tweaked. Just based on what you recruit and like what you're looking at. I don't think I'd go here. I think I let them come to me. Just wait with everybody. Let them get into range. Now we start netting and clubbing. So they can't teleport when they're netted. They're stuck in place. I zoned them out, didn't I? They also can't teleport when they're stunned. Which is also useful. Z, you only have 50 HP. Like, let's get people together. I don't think I use more nets though. Nets are valuable. We're broke. Of course. Why would I land an attack when I could miss every attack in a row? I guess we have to net, huh? We can't hit without them, apparently. Oh, 
I think there's some mods with fat. There's some bugs with faster mod. If you're running faster mod still, uh, sometimes they miss their attacks. Like they forget to attack because there's some uh, bugs with the mod. So, but they can sleep two people or sleep one person and then uh, injure them. Okay, we at least done something, right? I need to make sure this guy doesn't run away now. I don't care if this guy dies, he's fodder. Actually, fodder is valuable because we're, we're broke. I keep forgetting that. Of course, the stun misses. Why would it hit? You're a waker upper. Put enough guys in with me with in melee with it, it can't walk away anymore. But we appear to be short some warm bodies. Okay, we got three in melee. It can't walk away anymore. Someone please land a stun. Okay. All right, we got some levels. All right. Uh, Steiner the Fisher. What am I doing with Steiner the Fisher? Um. We have no resolve to work with guys. Like we can't do a resolve build. It means he can't front line. Cannot front line. Thick nine lives. It's six yeah, no, we have I have thick glasses. We don't get thick nine lives with that kind of resolve. This guy I guess this guy's a tank, huh? That's gonna be his job description. I don't think he lives along with that job description, but that is his job. Okay, let's get your normal gear back. You're meant to be a shield mace, bro, but for now, without mastery, you don't really want to use a mace on mastered. Way too much fatigue. There's one of my dervishes. You know, this guy's got 64 fatigue. He can double grip a mace, right? Or do we just we just straight puncture him, maybe? Yeah, I'll just straight puncture on him. Or that I'll just straight puncture. Keep these two. Or like three clubs or make like three shield mace guys, we think. Let's see how it works. We need a way to get our economy like rolling. The boar spear for now. And you are my banner. You are a hybrid. For now you have a bow. Jab hook blade. Steiner the Fisher, you're just a hooked blade dude. This dude is just straight fodder, right? Like just like flat out straight fodder. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Any more missions? We are gonna walk it out. Hopefully find some nomads to kill through here. Nah, not being able to do these camps kinda sucks, but I think we're just we're still not very strong, guys. Hard fight. Or hard start. Boom. Got the nomads, and we'll grab. 
90 gold day teller and he gets a spear and a shield and and wishes of luck I think that's kind of how we're rolling this one boys okay Yeah, I mean, I think it just delays your entry in the game like 10 days. Like, this is much faster than Lone Wolf. Like, Lone Wolf is much, much more challenging than this. Lone Wolf would be hiring our first guy right now. Um, I'm relying on two range to kill. Oh, uh, I guess I don't even... Mm. I think... Does everybody have a, have a dagger? You are a dagger, bro. Okay. Yeah, I think we can go. It's probably four. Six outlaws. I have ten guys. Maybe we should have waited for day, huh? The question is, we kite back or do we aggress? I think we kite back. If they fight us in this choke point... It's very good for them. Because we outnumber them. So we want to get back to where we can use our numbers against them. I got, I'm not expecting to actually hit any of these attacks as we kite back. It's for positioning. Yeah, 5%. Like these, these aren't going to hit, guys. It's not why we're doing them. The axe guy has to die first. Uh, no armor is worth daggering, right? This guy, maybe, but... Now I think we go ham. I can put this guy in spear wall to try to buy time. Ask, this guy's good. This guy's also good. This guy's fodder. So the fodder guy can go here. Or do I need to put my good guys on him to kill? I don't want a good guy getting hit by... I mean... You have a job to do, my friends. You have a job to do. I could actually throw Nat here. This guy can shield wall. He doesn't. This damage is not important to us here. Okay, hook blades. All those people we lost for these four hook blades coming in handy. All right, good shield wall, beanie. Not a good spear wall, Thorben. You're probably gonna meet your maker for your miss. Forty-seven. Um, I kind of want to kill. I could try puncture this guy now, can't I? What if we try to kill this guy? Actually, yeah, this guy is gonna hopefully die to punctures. This guy can hopefully die to attacks. See, like, the trading those guys for this equipment would actually turn out to be really good. I mean, we knew that when it happened. We didn't get any armors, but we literally got four hook blades in one fight. Twenty-six, twenty-three. I might need another gnat, huh?
I don't care about this guy's fatigue. He probably dies this turn. I got baited by the puncture, didn't I? I hit three in a row. And then missed everyone's sense. Okay, that's actually okay. I need to get people out of here to tank my front line. I have another net. Like, I could be ready to net this guy, huh? We don't let him jump here on Falcon. He definitely jumps Falcon if we let him. I still want to try to dagger this guy. I know it's like... Super greed. Okay. This one needs to die like pronto. You don't have the fatigue to go to and dagger. Neither do you. Go there and resolve check and we hope. This guy, I'm fine with this guy dying from this armor, by the way. Yeah, we go here and resolve check. Nice. Alright. Yazid, I don't put the last kill on Yazid, do I? I don't think it matters. Yeah, so we lost two fodder and we got two scimitars and two sets of armor. I think that's, we're pretty happy with that. I'm very happy with that. Who needs armor? Thorbin? I guess you earned this one. You probably get a boar spear. These 62 attack guys probably get these. Get the boar spear. Um, I mean... No, my... This guy gets the good armor. I was going to say we got two new fishermen's knives, but these are in fact old fishermen's knives. Uh, Adragas for the flanks. I mean, Adragas and everybody, right? I mean, not Adragas, uh... Asp. Let's do this for now. Keep this. Very nice. These guys at five, we... I mean, that's what... That's what they're for, right? You guys act like I'm... I'm, I'm paying them to die for me. You guys act like I'm paying them to kill for me. That's not how this works. That's not how this game works. Uh, let's get this ambition, uh, whatever it costs. Okay, so I'm not going to repair these shirts. These are decent helms. Okay, we have money, technically. All right. Do you have a quest? No quest? Thousand gold nomad, huh? I don't think we get to afford this stuff in beasties. I think... 
we look for a nomad camp here and go to Brunenthal. Okay, so that's actually a pretty big upgrade. You now... We don't bother with this sling and this 44 attack guy, right? Man, look at all these reach weapons we have. This is really good. We need a backliner. Assume we weren't broke, yeah. Now I can sell all my beast parts and hire him. I think I do that, right? I think in, in beasties, I think we just get to sell beast parts. Oh, hey, is this guy a hybrid or what? Is he? Yeah, eventually. Eventually, right? I mean, 39, 3 stars is like fine. We prefer higher base. That's the problem. Uh, but we work with it, right? Do we go fast? I think we go fast on him. Yeah, we, we go fast instead of Colossus and call it good. He's got 70 HP. Um, I guess you get a Nomad Sling. You don't have quick hands yet. And you get this and... You have to earn your armor, buddy. Yeah, max row HP and tough. Fear of green skins is kind of annoying, but he's a backliner. I think we just sell everything except for the hyena parts, guys. I don't think we're going to be making resolve charms anytime soon. The hyena stuff is pretty valuable because we're running initiative builds, so... Um... Do we add like a fodder? And we probably do the quest and then add fodder. So we go, there's another desert city here. We probably cut here, look to Brunenthal. We haven't been to Brunenthal in a minute. Looking for an easy nomad camp. No such thing exists, we'll head to the third desert town. Okay. Alp fight should trigger, they trigger at midnight. So this is all we change, right? Oh no, we, these dagger guys get double grip maces. Okay. Hopefully this triggers. Okay, perfect. It's only three. Should be clean. We are indeed beast hunters, boys. We are hunting the beast. Alp fights are like free money if you have if you have the gear. I guess things can go wrong if you don't have like faster mod to become notably harder. But still, like it's not. Someone was telling me to use Agent to find beast, beast hunts. That's actually maybe not a bad idea. I hate this build, but it's the only build we can do. 
He's an initiative pull arm. Uh, shield mace, fodder tank. A dervish. Another dervish. For now, take beer, I guess. Uh, no, let's give you the sword. This sword. Give you the spear. I'm not gonna bother with Dagger Master. Oh, well, actually, we'll get Dagger Master here on this guy. <clears throat> mm. Is it? Like, we got a lot of gold from those fights. Like, look at how much gold we get from here. These are worth like 150 for us. Like, one, two, three, four, five. Oh, we got like 1,200 gold from that, that contract. Uh, maybe he's correct. Maybe we just missed this a good idea. 12 spooters. Yeah, you're right. <clears throat> 12 spooters is... Uh, I go back and hire more bodies and then go do the fight, right? We definitely need like a couple more warm bodies. And I have how many spears? Four spears. So I can hire all the warm bodies. Boom, boom. Here's a spear and uh, wishes of good luck. You also get a spear and a hat and wishes of good luck. Okay. Oh, I should take in a dozen opponents. That was a mistake. We're about to fight 12. <clears throat> that was a mis misplay. No, backstabber doesn't work how you think it works. Backstabber is probably good in Peasant. I think in general, Fast Adaptation is slightly better at doing the same thing. It ends up not basically not working on Backliners effectively. You still get plus 5. Like, if you want, I think, I think like occasionally getting plus 5 attack is worth a perk. Take it. But I think in general, fast adaptation is going to give you uh, better fights. Mm. The attacking brother doesn't count. So it takes three brothers committing to one target to get plus five attack with backstabber from a backliner. Which is generally not a good investment. I'm not giving them this high ground. I could go here and hit. The spider fights are damage races, so like we have to hit everywhere we go. Need more damage up here. I mean, I have a sling. Something. So if there's two melee guys and a poor arm guy hitting an enemy, the poor arm guy gets plus five. So fast adaptation, I just prefer fast, but I think peasant players prefer backstabber, maybe. Uh, the AoE mechanics are different for each AoE attack, as far as I know. Um, this guy has quick hands. This weapon is probably a lot of damage. I don't care if this guy dies, like, it's whatever. Burnfried is dead, right? He's already dead to rights. You can kill him before you die. He's the fodder we hired just for this fight. It's fine for him to die here. Fast helps bad brothers kill strong enemies. 
Backstabber helps you win fights when you outnumber your enemies by a like a notable margin. Which three of those fights are already won. Like if I can put three melee guys on an enemy, I already won the fight generally. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, and you could just buy a net too. Was yeah, nets are a thing, right? I mean, I buy the grain, and this ambition should kick right away. So let's go look for the play in the south as long as we can, right? Till nomads get dodge. I think like maybe day twenty five getting to. To getting to, to 12 is pretty good. Mm, I would consider this actually. I do like to hire before I take these fights. So we're going to just chill. We're going to get healed up and repaired up. Uh, 250 gold thief. Kind of hard to pass on. And that's kind of all we're interested in here. 200 gold day tower is definitely a pass. Well, hello, Mr. Tank. You get a bill hook and a hat. And you get protected. Like the valuable asset you are. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> Dervish gets a real shield. Dervish gets a real shield. Uh, when once he gets dagger mastery, Ingolf. This guy, I don't see how he survives this fight. He's actually not a bad brother, but these guys are kind of foddery. Uh, this is a mirage. What kind of animal is this guy? Afraid of green skins. He can be a crow. What's a nimble tank called? What's think on that? <clears throat> Let me go grab a drink for this next fight.
Okay, we can be mongoose. We can name them after like small hunting animals, like mongoose or stoat or weasel. What would the title be? The hummingbird? We're doing birds for our throwers. If we find a tiny thrower, we can name him, name him a hummingbird. Unseen. The rock. Hmm. This guy's just gonna die this fight, whatever. The boulder. Okay. Boulder, I like boulder. Welcome to chat, by the way, Climatic. Got some Pita and hummus here. Mm. Okay, so let's look at our team right now. Try to think of how we play fights. See what we need to add. Um, we're at 12, which is good. Need more nine lives? We do need more nine lives. You guys remember eight lives Glebe? The one guy we didn't take nine lives on just for the role play. But we kept playing him like he did have nine lives. I think he actually made it through the campaign too. Alright, shield mace guy. Once we get mace mastery. For now he's a tank. Uh, Katal men. We don't have Katals. Uh, this lucky guy probably wants a shield because he's lucky, right? I don't think he gets any value out of lucky if he doesn't have a shield. This guy can be a sword duelist. Uh, this guy's like a good sword duelist. I don't think so, Armist 3. Oh, we probably have to charge them. We only have one ranged. This guy is not considered ranged by the AI yet. He needs one more level. Um, Buy some rice. Ooh. I'm going to sell this crap. What well, prices are so high? I'm going to buy that. The rice. Do I buy an 85 gold net? <clears throat> I think I kind of have to. You can be a net guy, actually. This fight. I've equipped all my best gear. I probably take the Falchion. You're my highest attacking dude, huh? 52. It's a yikes. Uh, can I use a jab on anybody? When does the bow become a wasted slot? Probably about now. Let's get rid of this useless thing. Um, I don't know. Is that a lie? Might be a bit of a lie. Would I buy a Katal? Not here. I would hire the first assassin with one. Okay, guys. <clears throat> the Necro event. I think it just, it tells me how much money I make by repairing items. Yeah, it tells me how much money I make by repairing items. 
Like, see this little negative two? It means that if I repair this weapon to solid, I, I lose two gold. Um, I don't think I ever do this quest. This quest is rigged. Our team's pretty weak. Uh, we can't run away once we go in. So we can't, like, see the weapons and then choose. I normally skip that quest. We need to buy more food here. I think it's time to leave the desert then. Looks like we're out of stuff to do. We don't get to trade in this origin. <clears throat> I buy nets and keep moving. Yeah, I, I don't think... I, I'm not going to take that quest. Oh, we are having fight density problems right now. Here we go. Okay, we have 12 functional brothers. So we just need to run around and take as many fights as we can. Take it on the flat. Yeah, I mean, 3.9k is a lot of money for us. We're beast slayers. We're constantly broke. We can start daggering raiders, though. Like, I think we're about able to snowball off raiders. Do we go in or back? I think I want to go in. Oh, you here, go here. You can go... We can just blow them up, I think. And we have a lot, we have a lot more bodies. So this should be a clean fight. Mongoose, you don't need a net here. Engulf, you're too weak to like have to go in there. RRU is random seed, random crisis, unexplored. Uh, I've played all the starts I want to play. Peasant, we only like peasant and trader are kind of too easy to be worth playing. Like once once you're experienced at the game, unless you're doing some sort of strange challenge, so you don't see those often. Oath Bros is kind of the same. It's like too easy to bother with. Uh, usually we retire within like fifteen or twenty days. We feel like we're strong enough. Like the game is pretty much over. I think last Oath Bro run we retired like days. I think we had a team of full level five guys with raider gear. On like day 15 or something. We just retired. Uh, I think Peasant and Trader are kind of the same thing. Last time we tried, tried played Trader, I think we retired like day 8 or something. I think on day 8 we had like a full team of like level 4 dudes in Raider gear. <clears throat> so the game's just kind of over then once you had that much. So we mostly stick to the, the hard starts. I like Glad's. Uh, Glass is hard and fast at the same time, so I think it's my favorite, my favorite uh, origin. One wolf is kind of underpowered, I think, and also kind of slow and grindy. We don't play that much anymore. Well, I mean, we just—it's it's no different than setting the difficulty, right? I'm not that good at beast slayers. We're actually doing really well this run too. So I actually don't think there's a reason to take dagger mastery now. I don't even have a dagger, so I just take relentless here. <laughs> This guy, we're just trying to get him to survive. I need the resolve so he doesn't break. Mm. Deserter, Lone Wolf, Glads, and Beast Slayers are like the four hard ones. Manhunters and Cultists are kind of meme origins that like aren't actually part of the game as far as I'm concerned. Like I, I don't consider them actual like playable origins. I don't actually need the helms. I don't really need the spears. I do probably need the, the butcher's knives. Or the fisherman's knives. Somebody. Okay. 
Um. Three day caravan for 900 gold. I don't think we do this. I think we boat to Sirak. Yeah, we boat to Sirak. There should be quests in the town. We're still stuck doing quests because we're kind of weak. Rat catcher? It's the rat god, boys. <clears throat> this is actually a dodge tank. I hate dodge tanks, but this is a dodge tank. <laughs> <clears throat> it's the rat god. I mean, he's not actually good, right? So there are there are different ways that a tank can die. Quick over explain moment. They can die from being hit. <clears throat> like, they can die from being hit until they get killed. They can get one big hit, get injured, and then die. Or they can die to resolve breaks. This guy doesn't get hit. Like, he doesn't die to chip damage. He gets hit once he gets injured. He gets surrounded, he breaks. So this guy's actually not good, even though, like... You get, he's usable if you're desperate. We have this guy and this guy, like... He's a net with legs, basically. <laughs> Definitely can't use him against beasts. 29 resolve against beasts. 48, yeah. BF dodge if he had if he had uh, 20 more melee skill, I would agree. This is what you look for in Battleforge dodge, to Brunley's point. You're looking for this gap. So this guy gets 6 defense from dodge when he's stammed out. Which is a lot. 6 defense is a lot. But... I mean, he can just sit, he can just chill. We can use him if we get desperate. He's basically fodder for us. Eight dire puppers. We want shields against dire puppers. Well, I got rid of all my better weapons, didn't I? Oh, I guess he can triple stab, huh? That's actually fine. Okay, this is fine, this is fine. I just used the bill hook to save the ammo. Yeah. I don't think I need to put Yazid forward. I actually probably peel someone back up here. Yeah, this guy can go up here to help cover uh, my back line. Yeah. This guy also terrified of, of his job. Evan also is confident. This one dude is just sitting there, soil soiling himself. This guy has to die, of course. Crow, okay, you're good, Crow. You you don't you're not afraid of no beasts. Yazid, just take up some space, please. That's your current job description. We may make a dragon slaying duo, <clears throat> which would be like nine lives overwhelm mace uh, guy and like nine lives overwhelm katal guy. <clears throat> Not perks I normally recommend. Uh, but would be good specifically for killing Linworms. Since we're not playing 12 man, we can make specialists. Yeah. 
Okay, maybe if we kill him with Puncture, we'll get his hide. That's definitely how the game works, guys, right? That's definitely how it works. It's not, by the way. If you're if you're new here, there's sometimes some mean green sarcasm. Apolog apologize, it can be hard to decipher. You do not get more pelts by puncturing direwolves. They are set drops. All right, we need ammo and we need tools. We always buy nets. Um, I think we're just focused on making money. We can boat to Groudhaven to save time, but there could also be a brigand in here, so. What do we have? What do you have for me, buddy? One skull. Follow the tracks. Three skull. Okay, three skull care that we just clear out of here. We do the follow the tracks. Anything we care about here. Seventy gold nets I have to pass on, boys. We actually have like a roster, kind of. All right, burn freed. Actually, you're worse than the rat, so you get benched, burn freed. I don't know what your job is. Your job is to die when somebody needs to die. You're kind of useless. Rat god. Uh, you get bags and belts. Oh, nine lives. Nine lives is the dying perk. You are now slightly slower at dying. Congratulations. All right, Rat God. Uh, Crow the Mirage. I actually probably have to take quick hands, don't we? And Ingolf. You look like a guy that probably is going to want nine lives if we're fighting raiders. Yeah. Few marksmen, some raiders. Well, um, I'd like to be able to get some dagger action in here. Marksmen might kill someone in the back line. Obviously, there's like no, there's no skipping here, right? There's, there's no skipping in this, this part of the game. This is when we have put our good armor on our good guys and our bad armor on our bad guys and just hope that the bad guys die. Right, this is a good fight for Burnfreed to go in. Like, I, I'm expecting these guys, like, they're going to shoot Burnfree and they're going to shoot Ingolf. Ingolf has nine lives, so he doesn't die. Burnfreed, he's not going to break our team. This guy's good with no armor. Like, whatever, like, we can't... There's no, like, no contributing. There's no waiting till night. Oh, they're upper raiders. Look at the long axe. Who gets to eat the long axe? Oh, uh, this guy has to shield all the long axe. That's his job. I'm going to move forward, like, inch forward here. I'm going to put Burnfried kind of out of position because I don't care if he dies. I don't want to, like, chain route my team by like, yeeting him in for nothing. Well, you hit somebody. Ingolf's also eligible for dying, right? Yeah, Ingolf has nine lives. Get, get up there. Get up there and... So these are the two guys we expect to sacrifice for this fight. Thorbin is also 
He doesn't have nine lives. We can't just like yeet him. Although I think I don't think he gets yeeted if he goes here. I think he's probably not focused. So Ingolf and Burnfried are the dyers. Okay. Um, this guy has already been hit once. This guy has no helm. Uh, this guy is also on top of two guys that are elig eligible feeders, basically, or designated feeders. So this guy's not capable of attacking someone we care about, which I don't think I need to put Cobra here. To consider some options. Get to move up one and look at that, guys. Archers. Are they actually useless? Yes. <gasps> Did he get a kill there? I mean, not useless. They're worth like a half a brother. So I could go here and shield bump. The problem is if I go there, the only person that, can, that this one can target is my valuable guys. Nice. So I don't like that line of play. I also don't really like the line of play of Dagger and Long Axe, dude, but what can you do? I don't like the line of play of going here. But I think I have to. If this is a medium cross, I wouldn't go here, by the way. Yazid is also... You have... I mean, I'm not skipping it. We have people have to contribute. There's no... No sitting back. Nice. Long X guy doesn't get to attack. This guy, I don't care about this guy's armor. Wrecked. Absolutely wrecked, guys. Look at this. We can start surrounding them for the dagger edge. Brutal savage wrecked. That's what it, that's what they say, right? I'm gonna get my good guys to kills if possible. No, bro, it's like day 15 Beast Slayers. Uh, team's like level 4. We don't have fear summon anybody yet. I, I wish. <clears throat> Alright, um. Boom, boom. This guy's getting 9, like 100%. 62 HP. He takes 9. Well, we're slayed more beasts than we've gotten slain. We have Mongoose the Boulder. I'm, I'm full greeting because you have 60 HP. This is a full greed. Uh, Mr. Mongoose the Boulder. You get a chain mail then, since I full greeted for you. Um, This guy's got nine lives and he's totally useless. These guys are just kind of bait brothers. I, I can put this armor on my back lines, right? This is kind of greedy, admittedly. We have weapons. Got a boar spear. Got a long axe? Who gets the long axe? Who has the highest melee attack? Crow the Mirage. Welcome to the team. Yeah, I think this is a great run so far. Alright, you don't have a dagger. 
Red hats are for dying, generally. Are we not running quick hands dudes this run? Are we running shield mace and katals? Is that like our strategy? Yeah, it's day 19. We're at 12. We're broke. I do have rally. The ambition just won't kick. Oh, I don't have rally. Okay. Well, that's why the ambition won't kick. Um. So now I get to the part where you get to start selling gear. Which I think is generally pretty important. I don't have enough tools. I buy all the nets. What's this quest? Yeah, competitive sword. All right, free guy. <laughs> he is a dyer. Currently, you are holding. You are a net holder. We are employing people for the sole purpose of holding nets. Apparently. All right, everybody gets nets. Nets, nets, nets. If you're having problems with low attack skill, there's three solutions. There's plus damage, there's plus to hit weapons. The problem is all, plus to hit weapons are also low damage weapons. So that's something that can be, can be like aware of. Oh, the other one is nets. And, oh, the other two are nets and fast adaptation. Also solve poor attack. Alright, so we get two pieces of information from this quest. We also know the location of a brigand camp. Twelve thugs. This is like... Like a we're in the money song is playing in our head right now, right? Eleven thugs and one raider. The raider also doesn't have a throwing weapon. So we can kite. One, two, three, four. I think I'm feeling like we're st finally starting to get our like teeth into the run. We got to probably get to start busting camps as soon as we get rally. It's usually what I, I usually I hold off on rally. Not that you can't do camps without rally, but that oftentimes you have to skip camps because you don't have rally, and then like you're wasting time being out in the wild and skipping camps. How would you make a two-handed sword competitive? That's the question. Like, let's say they consider Warbrand a tier two weapon and make a katana like a tier three Warbrand. You'd have to make it a fatigue hog, right? Like, <clears throat> how would it be different than the cleaver? I guess is the question. We could probably blow that guy up. Yazid can maybe blow this guy up to. Yep. How, do I dagger the Gambus in? Not that one, apparently. That, yeah. Do I, I don't think I need to spend ammo on this fight. I use this sling to save money. God, that's Beast Slayer thing. Just Beast Slayer things. Let's use a sling to save money, guys. This guy has to die. I don't get to puncture him. Alright, now it's time to start yeeting. It's yeeting time. 65, 79, boom. Ow! Oh, that's burn free. I don't care. Yeah. 
what's the like what's this what's the gimmick of the uh, what would a katana's gimmick be like every weapon in the game that's like has like a gimmick doesn't it like all the good ones All the ones you actually use have like a specific thing they're good at. Like axes trigger double fearsome and are good generic damage with weapons. Well yeah, because weebs love katanas for some reason. I mean, that's, that's the definition of a weeb, right? Like, Asian culture is cool. Like, Asian aesthetic is cool. Don't get me wrong. Katanas weren't doing anything special. They're like... <laughs> just a sword. Swords were just sidearms. They weren't like main war weapons. Samurai's main weapon was a war bow, right? They are horse archers. Is that actually what they, what they fought with? Just swordsmen in TV. Give me the armor, please. Nice. Okay, we got an armor. We got a dagger. Very nice. No, 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 no. Oh, Butterlord. I don't know. Like, I think it's a while till we do the Butterlord again, isn't it? Better take this four. This guy's a sword duelist, right? <laughs> Do we go nine? We go sword master to save fatigue. I think I just go nine, guys. I just go nine. I guess he's a so I don't know. I don't know what this guy is. I could have taken. I could have taken dodge there too. I guess he's stuck with the shield. All right, you're probably a. You're eventually a dagger, bro. All right, who gets the next chainmail? Let's pass it along. Share the love. All right, who goes in to be? In the spot of dying. You. And we get Ingolf leveled. Just a generic, like, frontliner. Uh, we go fast here. We need to hit stuff. If we're going this many shields, we need to take a lot of fast adaptation to help increase our damage. Otherwise, we just won't have any. So this dude um, got Relentless. He is going to be an initiative build. Probably just dodge, huh? Let's go dodge. <clears throat> yeah. Yes, I sure hope I'm not retired by the time Butterlord's done, I agree. I kind of want to do another Butterlord run, but I know exactly what's going to happen. Greatest possible Lone Wolf start build is uh, Hammer. Yeah, probably 200 Hammer with no Lone Wolf perk. <clears throat> it's about as greedy as it gets. Okay, what are we doing, guys? We could just walk over here to see where this brigand camp came from and maybe fight it. Follow these footprints back. We're probably looking for scout and lookout, right? Okay, here's a camp. Let's go. Now, these guys are both going to get... <clears throat> this guy's getting daggers back at 6. Now they finally got a dagger. The, the question is, what's our first purchase? Are we buying Katals? <clears throat> like, are we actually going to go south and just buy two Katals for our Dervishes? Like, I'm not opposed, by the way. Probably Scout Lookout and then Katals, right? We run them as Puncture Bros early game and switch them to Dervishes? Does this seem reasonable? There should be like 1800 for Beast Slayers, my guess. I think we probably want to run them, run them as Puncture Guys early game. And switch to Dervishes later. 
Because Punk Show helped make us money and then they become actually like a viable late game build. Yeah, probably Bonks first, that makes sense. If I go here, I get attacked. Alright. Useful archers. Doing useful archer things, guys. I mean, I don't care about the armor, do I? <clears throat> They're just like dodgy dagger guys. And then. Maybe we should take Axie before dodge then. Or is that crazy? That's pretty crazy. That's pretty crazy. Shields and dodge is pretty sus, but. Not as sus as Axie. We took we fight Axie instead of dodge and it's a lot worse. You tend to just die in fights where you would would never actually be a threat if you had dodge. Dodge is so good in short fights, it's hard to not just like spam early game. <clears throat> the problem with making dervishes punctures is they, they don't have fatigue. So they end up not being very good at puncturing, especially with that shield. So maybe we do need the Katals early. Because instead of bonks, we're going to run shield maces. I, I prefer buying weapons before good brothers, by the way. It's like, get to 12, 12 warm bodies, get your retinue, buy weapons, then find good brothers. That's my like, order of spending. So 12, retinue, warm bodies. We have a lot of spears and shields and low HP. I don't think we do great against, north, against barbarians. So I don't think we go too far north. So I'm hesitant to want to go north to fight uh, to fight barbs. What is our best play? I think we probably just want to be playing in the south. Like this, this nomad camp. Once it rerolls, we can go do. We probably find whatever fights down this road. There's also the raiding option too. This part of the map is everything we need to play the game, so we could consider hitting a caravan up here. Do this first. Nope. Finster Water. We could hit this caravan. Does this part enough of everything we need? We, we have a banner. So here's an. So the biggest problem with raiding is it reduces your ability to, to go out in the wilds and it reduces your ability to recruit. This is from a tier 2 town. Because we're unexplored, like this this screen doesn't work either, so we don't know what tier town tier two town it's in until we hit it. Um we do a one skull follow the tracks. Yeah, the black faction is strong enough. We just don't know if this is a black faction or not. It's unlikely to be the back black faction. I'm just looking for fight density, guys. We could get free bill hooks. We are. It is a little late to raid. That's a good point. We also have, like, we also have a lot of bros. So this black faction. There's gotta be a military settlement somewhere. It's got both cities. We probably need to confirm. Like, so we actually don't need anything other than the black faction to play the game. It's got all the ports. It's got two cities. We don't care about trade goods at all. We won't go hostile to the black faction if we hit this. I don't mind hostiling one faction.
Uh, yeah. The arena town has two ports. I just see this as free money. There's a small chance that it belongs to this faction. My thing is that if there is a black faction city here, it's probably military. There is not. Yeah, these are all the ports. These these are the only ones. We, these four. So we have really good mobility with ports in the south. We're probably going to end up playing this part of the map. We don't know the crisis. I don't mind one hostile faction in the middle of the map. So if we hit this, we could be knocking a black faction city out of potential quests and trading. We already have two backliners though. Of like the four back. We already have half of our late game backline ready. And a nimble tank. And there's two cities. A coastal city is going to have like sword masters, adventures, nobles, oath bros. So we're going to have like, we already have a late game banner. Like one of our... Like this guy's a good utility, like quick hands, fearsome war size banner, right? He's already got 96 resolve without the sash. I just see a free fight. I see a free fight. The the risk this is a risk reward. The the punish is if this belongs to the back black faction. But a single hostile city is not that big of a deal. I'm hitting this. Like, what am I talking about? <laughs> this is Sins. I'm definitely hitting it. What faction we piss off? Let's find out. Oh, uh, it's the red faction. Okay. So we're going to be enemies of House, House Bartholon. This is just free real estate, guys. We can't. Yeah, un until you're strong enough that you don't care about bill hooks and chain mails, which is not where we are. This experience is worth it. Like, this is like 600 experience. Maybe we get an ambition off this. Like, it's a free, like, one skull contract. We can even surround one and break them and kill the donkeys. You get a lot of daggers from these guys. You get a lot of lamellars from the caravan guards. I want to break this guy by surrounding so I can kill the donkeys and get the donkey experience. So this guy we're going to full surround, not to dagger him, but so we can go run down the donkos. I know it's kind of strange, but it is extra experience. Okay. Banner needs the kills for the uh, achievement, or the ambition, whatever you call it. I have to actually kill them, yeah. I They're worth like a raider or something. They're worth a lot. More than a th more than a thug, I know that. More than a thug or a thrall. Let's make sure we get the rally on the banner so we can start doing dice camps. Is that is it only fifty? I thought it was more than that. Okay. Well, a thrall's a thrall and thug are on one twenty five, so I lied. You check the wiki. I think the wiki might be wrong actually. If the wiki says fifty. All right. Let's just find out for real. Let me just check code diving. Uh, 
Uh, do do do. All right, I'll get an answer soon, and we'll take this quest. I think quests are still worth it. Uh, I don't know if quests are more worthwhile on Beast Slayers than not, but getting to fight Raiders and Marksmen is still good for us. These guys are a puncture pair. Here's a clean shirt. <laughs> That's what you get. We have... yeah. This might not have been worth the time, boys. Oh, if we can get like two chainmails, it's definitely worth the time. Just a raider fight at this point in the game. This is something we would we like to see. I shoot the leather armor guy. Don't worry, it won't hit. He's got a bow. Do I hate? Do I irrationally hate bows? Or are they as bad as I say they are? I'm pretty sure they're as bad as I say they are. I know there's some bow enthusiasts in chat. It's kind of hard to like have great discussions with people on Twitch, just because like, it's an uneven platform. Like I'm talking, and you're typing, so it's like it's like I can just talk over people in some way. It's 100% on me to actually like. Uh, I could go here and stab before he shield walls. We tried it, Shaolin. We tried making a, a perfect hunter to be our avatar. And it was still trash. Yeah, the, like, the math doesn't support their use. I could try this. That's the thing. I think I close in here, guys. Who are we daggering? We could dagger this one here. Oh, these are both chain mailed. I think it comes down to the yeah, the math not supporting their use. I would, would agree. I want to put. I mean. I would agree with myself, yeah. This guy has nine lives and we don't care if he dies. I could actually do this though and free up some space. So I want to go here and try to double puncture this guy. I'm actually going to net. I think I'm willing to spend a net to get a uh, more likely chainmail. This guy has... Do I try to... Do I care if this guy dies, I guess? I don't think I care if this guy dies for a chainmail. He's fodder. Yeah, I think the damage is too low to really consider using. You do have nine lives. I mean, I don't care if you die as well. Which, that's a great way to use nine lives. Like when you don't care if people live or die. Like, we kind of prefer that he dies at this point, so we don't have to pay for his medical bills. Welcome to America. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, 
Alright, this guy's zoned. Right, this guy's zoned. Alright, good fight. I should actually puncture just to guarantee the helm drop, correct? I mean, Helm's, Helm's max drop chance is 70%, by the way, if y'all didn't know that. Okay. Puncture party. Two armors and a Helm. Very nice. <laughs> yeah. Alright. You're... Guys, look at this. Isn't this so strange? We get to, like, sub out injured guys. What origin is this? Like, what's up with this origin? We get to bench injured guys instead of being forced to fight with them. I'm kind of confused. Isn't Glad's easy? <sighs> Obviously. This guy's a red hat. Thank you. I must have killed two donkeys when I did the math. And this guy's actually, at this point, like, 21 defense is actually a viable ish tank. I go shield mastery. Viable-ish. That's what everybody wants to be described in this game. Viable-ish. <coughs> um, he's a red hat. No, this guy's a... I don't know. I don't know what he is. He needs a dagger and a net, though. Oh, this guy didn't have nine lives, and we yeeted him in like that. I'm going to shame if he died. Uh, should be a hundred if there's no bug, I believe. But there are some bugs associated with item drops. So, buyer beware. Alright. So we're going to try to run a mix of tall duelists and shield mace bros. Of our eight-man front line, we probably want to run one tank, four shield mace bros, and three katal bros. Something like that. Oh, you need to work with what we find. We do already have two Katal bros. I think I want to loop through this fog to look for a camp. Climb the mountain. Okay, we'll hit this camp on the way out north, I believe. Let's go turn this in first. See if there's another quest. Nothing. We'll buy some expensive tools. Close your eyes. I didn't just pay 350 gold. This should be brigands. Okay. Yeah, let's go do this. I mean, we have a solid early game team, guys. That's not how we normally build teams, but... I think you build differently if you play north or south. Ooh, this is a spicy camp. Are we in or are we out, guys? Are we in or are we out? Anybody want to be out? We're confident starting. We have all these bill hooks. They're weapons, all single grippers, one double gripper. We have some nine lives, guys, right? We have nine lives, guys. Mostly short bows. I think we're in. I mean, I am in now. Like, I committed. Yeah, I mean, we could have always ran away. Uh, it's, uh, yeah, lucky one crossbow degree. Nothing worth puncture. We don't think about puncturing this fight, I don't think. I think we're here to win. Alright, one. Yeah, I think we're here to win, not puncture. We could lose three, four guys. Well, I think that this fight's too hard to consider puncturing. For our team. Our team is not strong. If our team was stronger, we could consider puncturing, but... We have some throwables. Do I just run forward with this guy? And zone the- is he saying it rotated out? No, he won't. I do this. Yeah, two expos. There was one in the fog. 
Yeah, I think puncturing is not like an option in the two expos here. The, in, in a fortification, our best guy already got a double headshot. This guy might not be contributing the most. I put somebody here. I don't. Surely, right? Yes, this is what I was hoping for. I don't know, we, we can't afford to not field this guy, right? This is such a sketch tile, though. He doesn't, he doesn't have underdog. We put a fodder here, right? I don't know, I could just put all my good damage here. I could net this guy and blow him up. I can't actually net in this turn. Um, I could go here and throw. That commits this guy to going here. Yeah, I think we have to just start. We have to go hard, guys. This is a... This is a, a go hard type fight. They have this, like, pocket they're in. If we don't get him out of the pocket, we're going to eat it. I could actually try pushing this guy back. I have a 58 to hit. I don't like this. This is one of my better hybrids, but like, again, I think we're forcing them into bad positions as well, so. 33, 38. This guy can actually shield wall here. This guy can hop over the top. This guy has nine lives, so he's good for one more hit. All right, Crow, don't let me down. Wait here, hop over the top, and puncture. Actually, probably should have just hit there, right? That was um, puncture was a mistake. Don't get a turn there. This guy, where am I putting this guy? He's actually just uh, took a dagger somebody. I don't have any good targets. I think I just shield wall and wait. Once this guy dies, he can hop over. When do we think about getting these guys out? I don't think we get to, actually. Are you the one with or without mastery? Without. I'm taking the sword out and hitting. Too spicy for the dagger edge. Alright, you're done. Falcon, you're still in. Gero, you're out. Hopefully you get out. I don't think I get to send a babysitter for him. I think we're just in in. Nice. I actually could send him a babysitter. Cause I, that guy has nothing else to do that's like viable. Mongoose is very good. He doesn't die in one hit. Uh, we need his damage. Like it's, He's got a hooked blade. I need his damage. Okay, nine lives value. Oh, man. This... Yeah. 
You out. You don't die in one hit. I also don't have a good play to make with you. Um, I could net something, but I'm no good targets. I go here. Like, these guys are both super low. Um, this guy has to go in, doesn't he? You lose your cover, but you have dodge. I mean, if he tanks like two or three arrows, it's fine. Very, very challenging fight. Uh, Giro, I think you're too important to the team to lose at this point. So is this guy, but I... We're starting to kill them, guys. I think... I think it's all hands on deck situation. We could lose a couple people in this turn, but like again, it's not just not a fight we're allowed to approach in a risk free way. Like we we can't. There's, there's no no pussy basically is what I'm saying. Ebhard, you're total fodder. You're you're in. Okay, we won. We won. We just lost one fodder. This is great. This is when I get that uh, Giga Chad famed item from that fifteen percent brigand camp, right? Oh, if stupid exclamation mark seeds, it should come up. Okay, arming sword, amber. This is a ton of loot. Obviously, we didn't dagger because we didn't attempt to, but. Should be seeds. Yeah, we don't have to go back to town to put a bro in. Exactly. Um, I think I take this defense roll. Take this. Okay. So we have. Crossbows. Do I have quivers? I don't have a quiver. I guess you have a bow and we find you a quiver. Or whatever it's called. Arming sword? Let's go. Get that scimitar trash out of here. We got the rally the troops ambition. Boom, boom, boom. All right, whose injury is not quite so bad? Berthold. Good luck. Uh, you actually probably get a decent weapon, though, don't you? You get a spore spear? Look at this guy. Pick your red hat, even. You also get a red hat. Everybody gets a red hat. Uh, we get daggers instead of fishermen's knives. Look at this. We only use one net, I think. You're already a dagger man. You could probably have a backup sword though. It's a dagger. Um You don't need armor because we don't care if you live or die. <laughs> your armor is my total ambivalence to your survival, is your armor. I actually will buy a, uh, some bolts. Arming sword guy, equip a dagger. He doesn't have dagger master yet. Yeah, we went we went because uh, we didn't have a katal. We went relentless first. Helms, upgrades. We're gonna make four mace guys, so here's our four maces. 
Oh, we only need three, so we can get rid of one of them, but it's fine. We're a parrot, right? Okay. Um... Very nice, guys. Oh, yes! We got some training events. Sergeant Sash. Man, we are starting to... We are clipping along now. We are clipping along. Oh, this care we probably have this caravan from Trogan after this. Let me go refill my drink. I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, I mean, the runs, we do have some injury issues. <laughs> yeah, we, we could actually just unlock the Surgeon by shooting everybody. So we have to just take easy fights. Um, no tools either, huh? No tools, no medical supplies. Carrots and hummus. Sorry if it's a little too crunchy. <laughs> Guys, we're using range units. Look at this. We can we can beat five thugs with range units. Maybe even six thugs if we pushed ourselves.
Okay. So, mm, are we just gonna hope? I'm down to hope. Let's see what who we do. Who do we just piss off? Uh oh. Okay. Well. We just raided a faction we didn't want to raid. Oh well. That's why you don't raid often in Unexplored. I know. We all left behind Fisherman's Knives last fight though, so it's fine. This guy got nine lives. Also, don't have any medical supplies or uh, tools. <sighs> we do have ammo, though, for our crossbows. For one of them, at least. So 50, so is it worth 100 experience? Guys, this is a tryhard run, right? Is it worth min-maxing? What am I asking for? Of course it is. Alright. Who wants to kill donkeys? Pakan? Steinar? What is Steinar? I don't care about Steinar, he sucks. Asp? I do care about Asp, but uh, I don't care about Thorben, he's got a red hat on. I guess the banner always matters. Alright, who are the co uh, Cobra and uh, Asp we're going to give kills to? Get them to Nimble. Well, who do we just make mad? Yeah, this is not a city we actually care about. So, um, let me just go to Grottenhaven here, guys. Maybe hit an easy camp if we see like a tier 1 undead camp. Mmm. We are like beyond scuffed boys. I think we're on the bench, like no cap. I know what I do with this guy. The dervish. Yeah, we got to actually heal here. We'll come back for these guys. <laughs> 